Good morning from Retro Palooza Arlington. It is Sunday morning. Yes, that is right. I missed the entirety of filming on Saturday because I was stuck at my table all day. But that's a good thing. That shows you how good this show has been. Sunday morning at a convention. It's nice and chilling here. The doors just open, but it'll be a while before things pick up. So this is where I'm gonna take some time to actually walk around and we're gonna see if there's any toys left. We're gonna do a little bit of toy hunting. I wanna see what we can find out there because this has been a really good show just from what I've seen by sitting here. Crowds were very heavy yesterday, lots of traffic coming through, lots of people showing me the cool things that they were finding. Um, so hopefully there's gonna be some more stuff out there. I've been coming to Retropalooza since almost the very beginning. Uh, I think I missed the first show. But otherwise, I've been coming out to this show every year that it's happened ever since. I've done several videos on the show that you guys may or may not have watched, but always a good one, always a great time. Uh, lots, lots of cool stuff to see here. It's always a good mixture of video games and toys and other retro stuff. So, toys. I think that's what I'm mostly after today. Let's go see if we can find some. All right, I'm over here at Chief's booth. Look at Chief over here. What's up, buddy? Party. What are you doing to me, man? Look at this nonsense. Bro, you, you wanna know what's crazy? What's, what's crazy? This is what's left. This is what's left, I know. And I'm just now getting over here. This is nothing compared to what I had earlier. All day long, people have going, have you been to Chief's booth yet? Yeah. You need to get to Chief's booth. So many turtles. Like, that's what people have been doing. No, I had a guy, no, true story. Nine o nine o'clock we opened. Yeah. Nine o one. I had a guy beam to my. I'll get in here with you. He beamed to my booth. Beamed to your booth. And just picked out a thousand dollars. Oh my god. In the first minute. In the first minute of the show. Hey, good for you, I'm bro. Winning. Good for you. Look, we got to look at this spread here. Look at this stuff. I want to show you guys the amazing box stuff he has here. So we got. Leo's turtle trike. We got some mutation stuff. Like he's got not one but two pizza throwers. Sewer army tube. He's got the foot ski. A sewer play set in the box. Guys, oh my god. Ugh. He's got two party wagons. This one right here, I gotta be honest, this is what I am leaning towards. The Ninja Grappler. How many of you guys even knew this one existed? Right? This is not one you typically see. Look at the artwork on this. They use the movie stuff. Super Shredder's on there. Oh my god, this looks amazing. This looks amazing. We got Movie 3. Turtle Tank. The Mutant Module. Two Turtle Copters. Sewer Party Tube. Also the Flush-O-Matic. I love the Flush-O-Matic. That's another amazing one. Love the artwork. And then, Can I show you? oh, of course, what we got in here. Look at that. Everything inside is new. So the box is open, but everything inside is brand new and sealed. And unbelievable. There's a, there's another one. This one has two two tapes on each side, so it's never gonna be open. Oh, got it, got it. Yeah. On that side. Sealed. So that's actually Woo, sealed. sealed. And then this one. Same deal going on here. Oh, everything is fresh and new inside. Unbelievable. That is nice. Gosh, dude. The box is really nice. Where did you get all this? I bought a collection now. You bought a collection? Yeah. That's so cool, man. Yeah. God. Well, look at, okay, so look at all the carded figures. Look at this, look at this insanity. There's it some good variants. stuff here. Yeah, oh, they got the variants of a uh, Toko over here. So That's great. We got Ernie Reyes Jr.'s signature here. Uh-huh. With a Kevin Eastman. Oh, nice. Yep, recognize the Eastman signature. And then we have a... Who we got? Cam Clark. Is that Cam Clark? Yep. And then Kevin Eastman. Beautiful. And look, I got a, I got a Judith Hogue. Judith Hogue is on... Oh, Judith, Too Rich! Yeah. She wrote that to you. Yeah. I love it. I can't... I, I, you know, she's cool, but... That was her first, her first con she did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she did really good on that That's con. awesome. She was on that Man. panel. Zach the, the neutrino. neutrino. Look at this one. Yeah, King Lionheart is awesome. Oh, by the way, awesome. the majority, I would say 80% of these are unpunched. Unpunched. Unbelievable. Yeah, look at that. The majority look at of that. these are unpunched. Ninja Newscaster April which as we now know was originally sculpted to be Yvonne from Toxic Crusaders. Yeah. 
got Razar, Chrome Dome is up here. Slash, Walkabout, Pizza Face, my favorite Raphael variants, Space Cadet, Space Usagi. Here's some good ones over here, Rock and Roll Mondo Gecko and Scale Tail. Unbelievable stuff. This is risky. Okay, Cena. I have your money. You have my money? Can I have some of it to No. But I want I want all of these. Can I buy all these? No. Oh, but I want them. Hey Ed. Hey buddy. Of Ed's Retro Geek Out. What are you doing here? I, I saw you running around, so I figured I'd follow you. Get, get a look at some toys. Follow me, find the toys, buy the toys before me. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I know, I know. I already shopped around. Yeah, you've already had a chance but to look at everything. It's like, like any convention, you know, you get triggered by the stuff you really want. Yeah. And the second run around, you see stuff you haven't seen yet. Exactly. So. That's a good call. Yeah. And and this is kind of my first time walking it's around. Toxic so Crusaders. I'm, there. Oh, okay. Well, let's go look for the Toxic Crusaders. I assume you already have this, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good one. What else is in here? Video games? Fake games. Oh. <laughs> Oh, these are bootlegs. Interesting. Yeah, look at the labels on those. Oof. Mm, that's a cool cartridge. Mario 3 on Famicom. I always like looking at the Famicom games. It's the Japanese releases. Super Famicom, Donkey Kong Country. Should be the same game, it's just the boxes still, are different. But still, that's awesome. They're only 20. That's not bad. I know, I love the artwork on them. So they got the first one. I love it, they call it Super Donkey Kong instead of Donkey Kong Country. I really want to play Donkey Kong Country. Huh? I really want to play Donkey Kong Country. You really want to play for Donkey Kong? See, look at there's Paper Mario, but they called it Mario Story. I don't think I ever beat, beat that. What's this? Oh, I bet that's Smash Brothers. Probably, yeah, with Star Fox. So, so this is the same thing. Just not that's it. That's the same as this, but this is just a box one. Yeah, this is loose. Super deluxe curvy. You get yeah. But getting the one in the box would be awesome because you'd get it's the only, cool artwork. It's only ten dollars more. I know, awesome. and you'd get the full box. And wonder. Can you play this on our Super Nintendo? Uh, it's possible too. Yes. That's so awesome. It's pretty great. So. What's your strategy? Like when you're toy hunting, do you have like specific things you focus on? Or are you just looking for like anything nostalgic and cool? Well, it, it's a couple lines I'm really going for. Like yeah. Turtles is one of them. Turtles, obviously. yeah. yeah. Um, and the other stuff is just like what piques my interest, what looks interesting. Yes. What is something I haven't seen before. Yeah. And I'll, you know, try to find the country of origin, the, the year. Man. Thing and, and trying to figure out what is this, you know? We shop the same way. That's like, my, my <laughs> thing has always been, and especially the last couple years, I've been really trying to like have a steady focus. Like, okay, I have too much stuff. There's too much new stuff coming out that I all, because I collect new stuff and retro stuff, right? So it's always like, okay, well, I'm a He Man guy, so let's try to just stick to He Man and some of the like the side lines that kind of fit with it, but also some turtles here and there because I like turtles. But what always happens is I find random things, like Tarzan figures I yeah. found with you the other day, and it does that thing where it's like, oh, nostalgia, plus these are weird and they're kind of cool, and I like weird things, so it's like. To me, it's, it's pretty much more exciting to figure out, like, hey, here's a, here's a big bin of just random stuff. Yeah. 
I found like a skeleton type of deal in there, you know? I love that. Yeah. So I'll look up, hey, who made this? What, what, what line does this That's go the to? best, right? That's the fun part because you kind of get dragged down by looking for those last couple tours in eat. Yeah. Or Reman. Right, and then you discover something new and it yeah. like, Injects this new excitement in the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, it keeps it yeah, interesting. Keeps it keep, interesting. Keep going out because you can yeah. go out and oh, here's Buzz off, here's Ram Man. Here. Right. Yeah. You see those yeah, all day long. All the time. See them all the time. And the ones you need, yeah, yeah, they're like the 300 bucks ones. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That just keeps no, it fresh and keeps you going. That's perfect. We have a very similar philosophy, my friend. I love it. I love it. These light up dice are amazing. I want to. It, it just look at these. Like every time. Oh my god. Like one of those. Yeah. They're so cool. Look at the little bitty ones. Oh, here you go. Oh, sleeping Pikachu is cute. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Sun faded, Leo. Yeah, look how sun faded he is. Wow. <laughs> All these guys are pretty discolored, actually. Oh, it's a bunch of Zelda manga books. That's cool. Oh my gosh, there's so many pogs. Do you need... Oh yeah, look at this. It's a it's a hat oh, with the VHS tape. It comes with the Snow White VHS tape. Video is youth size ball. That cap. is awesome. And here's a this is sealed. VHS. This is sealed. Yeah, VHS. Sealed little mermaid. Did you were did, were pogs ever big where you were, Ed? Were pogs ever big where you were? So many people send me pogs. Really? Yeah, it's and, do you have any sort of connection to them at all? Not really, but like like people in comments during our live streams, they yeah. started talking about and keep kept bringing it up, and now people just send me pogs all the time. That's so funny. Captain Planet. Yeah, these Captain Planet pins are really cool. That's nice. Those are cool. Oh, there's Breathless Mahoney. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> What's in the VHS tape spin? There's the Mighty Ducks. That's a oh, that yeah, you did. Did you see turtles is in here? There's barbed wire. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a few in here that. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of Ben 10 figures. Oh, doing some more hunting for Spencer. I love it. Yeah. Uh, he has a version of this guy, but not this one with the closed mouth. His has got the open mouth. That's Upchuck. this guy? He's got... I don't know if he he's got that have one. This thing. Oh my gosh, so we're starting to uh, be hard to keep track of what Spencer has. I don't know if he... You know he what? Are you? Sh does he not have bash mouth? I don't think so. I don't remember him Because this, uh, this is one of Kevin's aliens. He doesn't have very many Kevin aliens. And this is Kevin's uh, version of Cannon Bolt, I think. Yeah. And he definitely doesn't. Shock Squatch. Yeah, he doesn't have Shock Squatch. I only know oh, the man. newest cartoon. The oldest. Well, this is, is from that... the newer cartoon. Oh, would it? Well, Some of these are from the new one. Some of these, this is from older one. This is an older one. This is an older one. But that's, these are all the, the Playmates ones. That's super cool. Cadillacs and dinosaurs. Dino Rider reused. Oh yeah, they totally reuse Dino Rider stuff. <laughs> Same for like the Smithsonian collection. Uh huh. Known, but this thing is like not everybody knows. What else? Which other one we got here? The coolest thing from this line is the Cadillac, the car. That's oh, a, yeah. like a really cool toy. Yeah, Zeke, Hermes. <laughs> <laughs> that Triceratops name is Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes. Oh. <laughs> so Sectar hiding down here. Laser Blazers. There's Masters of the Universe Laser Blazers and Mr. T. A-Team Laser Blazers. 
I love these things. I have the He-Man ones at home. Let's see if I can get a good angle on them. So you can see the colors. So cool. I miss holograms. That's such an 80s thing. Here's um, the Prancing Ponies. By Tommy. By Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh, look at the, yeah, the Pound Puppy Carrier. Help me! <laughs> Get me out of here! Whoa. Oh, wow. Vehicle play tent. That's amazing. I love the Double Dragon. Street Fighter, Street Fighter. Bucky O'Hare! Wow, I actually really like these little Atari cartridge holders. I've never seen ones like this, but they're like just these little blocks and they all fit together. That's so cool. So cool. Transformers. Swoops with all all the wings. Oh, this one's complete. Ooh. All the wings. The beak is still in nice condition. Yeah, you get the top. Just, oh, and two. You miss some of those. These wings are always broken. That's like the toughest Dinobot. Really? Yeah, that's cool. To the cassettes don't here. Break it. <laughs> yeah, don't don't you be the one that breaks it. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Spider-Man classics. Oof! I love this line. Rhino. There's the first amazing fantasy Spider-Man from the classics line. Battle damage Spider-Man with that base with the lizard on it. Ugh, this was such a good era. It was exciting. There's some Dungeons and Dragons. And some Joes. Look at this Destro. Actually, I love this snake eyes. <laughs> I love that bright blue with the black. That is so cool. Commander, Baroness. Ooh, Spin Fighters. Power Ranger Spin Fighters. It is so weird, right? It looks I, badass, and then he's like, hey, I'm Commander Cash. Well, like, I love how, like, the figure doesn't even look anything like the animation. Like, I don't know, it's so funny how much he so, stands out from yeah. everything else in the line. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh, Commander Cash. I think that's just, like, something like, well, I have one more sculpt. <laughs> I'll just throw it in, you know? Because <laughs> I think, it, so this is from the Robocop series, which is like a... Yeah, like this a, is by Toy Island? Yeah, Toy Island Not of these. Canners. Right. And I think he was like just like a animated thing in the show, right? Okay, like something yeah. on TV. And then, yeah, I don't know. I don't know the full story, because I don't think I've ever watched the full Robocop series. Like the little place in on the back? The cryo chamber. Freeze Robocop and bring him back to life. Ooh. Something to find. <laughs> Christina, look. Look what it says. Aladdin's Castle. Aladdin's Castle. Wow. That was the local arcade we had in Illinois. That's amazing. The blast from the past. I don't ever see Aladdin's Castle merchandise. I didn't even know they had Aladdin's Castle. That's so cool. It's a dig bin. It's a dig bin. What's in the dig bin? Oh, hey. The McDonald's Power Rangers. You remember these, Christina? Oh, from when the movie came out. Oh, there's the McDonald's uh, Battle Cat. That's awesome. Yeah. No, that was back when it was the girl version and the boy version. <laughs> That's true. They had girl, girl Happy Meals and Boy Happy yeah, Meals. The girl Happy Meals. Here's a mask. Whoa! Weird knockoff Power Ranger thing. <laughs> I love these th dumb things. <laughs> Ooh, movie Red Ranger. That's sweet, sweet chrome. 
Oh, Willie DeWitt. Is that book yeah, there? Yep. He's missing his glasses, but he's got his helmet. It's pretty good. Yeah. The, glasses are always the glasses are always missing. Yeah. This one looks weird. I love how I don't know. Like he's. So this is this. This is probably something different. I bet because the scales it's also even. Also, the M9 9095. So. Scales different though. I do love yeah. all how shiny these guys all. Are. Yeah, <laughs> That's what draws me to them. So this guy's definitely a, yeah. What's well, a soma? Yeah. He lights up where he's supposed to light. There was one of those in there, but he was a like gold. But it's the same same sculpt, same yeah. mold. Yeah. I love I love the movie ones just because you know shiny. Slime hero. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, Mighty Ducks. Some gargoyles. These deluxe figures from the Power of the Force line. It's Boba Fett with his big giant jetpack thing. Look at that. <laughs> Still not rocket firing. <laughs> Still not rocket firing. <laughs> That's funny. Can't have everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, what is this? Yeah, it's Spanish, French, trilingual packaging. This is pretty awesome, though. Street Fighter the movie on VHS for three dollars. That's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, it got Gundam and then a whole bunch of Lost in Space. That's, that's awesome, actually. Oh my god, is that Mark Bitters? Famous referee? This guy was on Impact, I saw him. Did you see it? <laughs> I saw you posting oh, about it. Yeah, yeah it, it was awesome. 20 years in the making, finally got on television. <laughs> Woo! There you go. Did you find anything cool? Uh, anything There's cool stuff. I haven't bought anything yet. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to? I would like to. I need to buy I, You got some stuff for me. Here. Actually, I'm going to hand the camera to you so I can get my stuff. I did that thing again where like, I had a deal worked out before the show even started. <laughs> so I up some stuff. Yay, Toy Biz Marvel. This, this one's awesome because uh, not that long ago in other toy hunting videos I was talking about how this is one of the ones I still needed because this is the one with the actual vanishing color action. And it's weird because she's hard to find like with good colors still. Yeah, you see her all the time where she's totally faded out, the colors are gone and everything. Look at how nice this one is. Look how clear that bubble is on there. But the color change does still work. Yeah. These were left in my garage for a couple days after I first got them. Yeah. It was very cold in Illinois. Yeah. I went back out there. She was completely clear. Was, I, thought, oh, I thought I messed it's... up. I thought she was ruined. Oh, no. And, yeah. and then I saw your video. I was like, oh, thank God. Oh, Man, she came back. That. Yeah, these are great. So, I don't know. I have such a soft spot for this line, and I have most of this line carded, but there were a few pieces I, I didn't have yet. So, boom. Adding to the collection. Which is so, awesome. those we agreed on previously. These we agreed on previously, and then he brought something else that I was like, uh, uh, uh. Yep. Do you remember? This is, she knows. This I, is one of the things I've been looking for. I know. Because I got the Hulk a couple years ago, and I loved it, and it made me go, well, now I want all the giants for the missile line. Are you going to fill out the thing to get the Punisher? You should fill out the thing to get the Punisher. <laughs> yeah, i got to do the mail-in for the get Super Saiyan Punisher. <laughs> Hey kids, check it out. Add me to your collection. I love it. Yeah, so um, this is definitely coming home with me too. So we're gonna have to work. Yeah, yeah, we got it. We're gonna have to oh, it's all yes. Toy Biz Marvel. <laughs> that's that's what I that's what Pixel Dan buys. <laughs> okay, so we got a pile pile of Thundercats here. This is always awesome. This is like the the cat slayer for the smaller minifigures, but something that's even cooler that I don't think I ever have seen in person at all at any show is this amazing figure, like display for Thundercats. Uh, I've seen these before. I have like a, a third party one of these that's like more meant for like Motu style figures, but it's not like an officially licensed thing. But this is like a full on Thundercats licensed shield stand that's got the clips on it to hang the figures on. I got extra clips for it. And, and it's got like the stands at the bottom, but you can also hang it on the wall because it's got like the little wall hook there. So like, I don't know, that thing is awesome. That's something you just don't see every day. I love that. I love that kind of stuff. What? I found what you've been looking for. 
I had that as a kid. You had the Barbie I, beauty bath? I did. <laughs> Do you want another one? It's right I here. I don't have any more Barbie. <laughs> Bubbles, bubble like magic. It was fun. <laughs> Pass the trash? Yeah, this looks funny, right? Whoa! Oh my god, that looks awesome. That looks vaguely familiar. Like, I almost feel like I kind of remember that, but I don't think I ever played it. That is rad. I love the combat collector case. I always love unlicensed collector's cases, but look at this one. That is really cool. The perfect case. G.I. Joe, Bionic 6, and other combat figures. That's cool. Darth Vader. This is Narcs. Look what Narc brought. Oh my god. That's amazing. Look at the artwork on this thing. I know I've shown these before. I've run into these at conventions before, but I just always love looking at it. The artwork on this is amazing. So he's got 700 or best offer for a vintage Masters of the Universe toy box. What would be your best offer? $50. $50. <laughs> like this is one of those things, I love this. I definitely had toy boxes like this as a kid. <laughs> Super nostalgic, I love the artwork. And I look at this kind of thing and I'm like, what would I do with this, where would I put this? But like my, I was telling Christine yesterday, I was like, you know what, this would look really good at the end of the hallway that leads into my toy room. And then like I could fill it with like all my bins of like uh, extra accessories and stuff that I have, yeah. right? So that it has a purpose for being there and it's cool looking. However, I just, that's that's a lot. And I understand, but it's like, I don't know if I can just- I you. know the guy. You know the guy? He might be able to. He might give you a deal on <laughs> Then I gotta cart this thing all the way home. But you, you came in a car, right? I have a car. I came in a car. It's, it's not super big. <laughs> I mean, That's true. That's true. Probably get in the back. Oh, uh, this is a bad idea. I probably shouldn't do that. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. You have two of these? Yeah. Whoa. We're going to film each other. Yeah. We're live right now. We're oh. live. You're live. I'm recording. Okay. I edit my stuff later. And this will never come out. What are you, yours doing? <laughs> this will never come out. Don't worry. So you have two of these. I have two of these. Correct. Yeah. And uh, I was, this has been chilling in my garage along with the other one. Um, yeah. I don't need to. Right. I don't need to. I got a really good deal on both of them. So uh, and you don't see these too often. No, you don't. Yeah. You don't. The last one I saw was at, when we were at King County. And I think it sold for like 1100 Yeah. I saw one at a toy show in Mississippi, and they had a thousand dollar price yeah. tag on it. Yeah. So, um, a couple of people has been interested. It's pretty sweet. Um, was this in your book? This is not in the book. Okay. This is not in a Mattel <laughs> released action figure. Yeah. So <laughs> it didn't meet the criteria. Okay, I, didn't read it. I bought the book, but I didn't read it. So sorry. Well, thanks for buying it. That's all that really matters. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this one, this is not, um, this was added on. So this was added on? Yeah. Okay. This piece only. Um, but yeah. It's super that, cool. Yeah. Look at that hinge. That nice. <laughs> but the artwork on it. The artwork is amazing. The artwork is so good. I love it. I love it. And then we found this in Waco this week. It's sealed. Factory sealed. It's factory sealed? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Skyfire Assault Cop. You're alive? Yeah, I'm alive. They were asking about you. Coil Force Leo. <laughs> Damn. There's some cool stuff over here. There he is, El Karate Kid. <laughs> I'm back over here. Oh, we got Pixel Dan in the house. Oh, Pixel Dan is in the house. He's probably going to want to be. Chief, my friends. What's up, buddy? We're friends, right? We, we are. <laughs> I really want this ninja grab on What is this? At least I've never seen this. It's a weird vehicle, right? 
It grapples? Dude, my favorite thing, I, I can't wait to actually try this, because this is a battery operated game. Two double A's? No, two, two C batteries. C batteries. Yeah, two C batteries. But I love the uh, automatically stalks, grabs, pivots, and returns. <laughs> like, that's the whole description of the thing. Like, it sneaks up on the figure, snatches him, turns around, and drives away. I mean... I mean, come on. That now, is so now, fun. Now, whether it does that, a 20 or 30 year old toy does that, like... Flawlessly? Yeah, we'll find out. We'll right? find out. But you well, said it worked. It, you, you tested it. I tested it. Batteries. Batteries. Yeah. It grappled. It, re it did the whole zoom. And then, yeah. All right. I I definitely want this. So what did you say on it? 300? 300. That's not what it says. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, clean those glasses. Bro. Okay, 100. For you, my friend. For you. Yeah. I'm in, I'm in, man. $70. Get this on camera, everybody. He does pay for stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Stuff. Come on, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, he had, oh, he's exactly what he had. Oh. Deal? I knew what I was coming over here to try to get. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you. That seals the deal. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, I'm really excited. About I'm this glad stuff. you found something here. Because you, I mean, you find stuff. Yeah. But stuff you're excited about. I know, yeah. I, know. I mean this this display. Is... You've seen it all. I know. You've we were talking we were, seen it. We were talking about that earlier. Have. Like sometimes I wonder if I've gotten desensitized, right? Oh, right. Come out and see. That, yes. It's I like why isn't this stuff exciting anymore? But then you see this right. and it's like this is and exciting. This, this is, is exciting. leftovers. This is your leftovers. This is leftovers. Because it's Sunday afternoon, so yeah. you've had a good week. I've had an amazing week. Dude, you're the man. Love you, Andy. Love you too, Take bro. Take care, guys. Woo! Well, my friends, that is going to wrap things up. We're getting all packed up here. We're at the end of the day on Sunday. The show is closing. All the vendors are packing up, but it was a really good weekend. Got to see a lot of my friends who I don't get to see too often. Got to hang out with uh, Ed from Ed's Retro Geek Out and do some toy hunting, which was really cool. Picked up some really good stuff. So all in all, great Retro Palooza. Always a fan of this show. And I hope you guys enjoyed the toy hunt, seeing all the cool stuff that's out here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I appreciate you all. And until next time, my friends.